Today on the Daily Deposit we will discuss how the federal budget deficit hits $1.1 trillion in first half of fiscal 2023, $430 billion higher than last year, wow. Let's dive into this. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your wallets because the federal budget deficit has shot up to a whopping $1.1 trillion. In the first half of fiscal year 2023. That's $430 billion more than last year, apparently, the government decided to go on a shopping spree with our tax dollars. According to the Congressional Budget Office, government spending has gone up by 13%, while revenues have dropped 3%. It's almost like the government didn't think twice about maxing out their credit cards. But wait, there's more. Interest rates are higher this year, so the government had to shell out an extra $90 billion on interest payments compared to last year. That's like paying for a fancy dinner when you're already broke. And don't even get me started on the mandatory spending programs. Spending on Social Security has gone up by 10%, and spending on Medicare has risen by 14%. It's almost like the government is trying to make sure we all have to work until we're 100 just to pay off their bills. Meanwhile, lawmakers are twiddling their thumbs instead of actually figuring out a plan to slow down the government's spending. Maya McGuinness, president of the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget, is calling them out for not wanting to make the necessary trade-offs. I mean, come on, politicians, it's time to put on your big boy pants and make some tough decisions. Oh, and did I mention that we hit the debt limit of $31.4 trillion in January? Republicans want to cut spending in exchange for raising the debt ceiling, while Democrats want to raise the debt ceiling without any conditions. It's like watching two kids fight over who gets the last slice of pizza. As if that wasn't enough, there's a battle brewing over President Biden's blueprint for the 2024 budget. He wants to impose a minimum tax on the wealthiest 0.01% and roll back tax cuts implemented by former President Trump. But of course, that's not sitting well with the GOP, who have pledged to rein in spending. It's like a never-ending game of tug-of-war between the two parties. In all seriousness, though, it's time for our government to get their act together and start making some responsible decisions about our budget. We can't keep spending money like it grows on trees, and we certainly can't keep ignoring the fact that our national debt is spiraling out of control. So, politicians, let's put aside the partisan bickering and work together to create a budget that's sustainable for both current and future Americans. Or, you know, keep playing the game of who can spend more and see where that gets us. Cha-ching, there you have it your deposit has cleared. If you like these stories, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell icon to be the first to receive all our deposits as they become available.